They'll be calling you a radical. We have very exciting, exciting, wonderful, incredible breaking news. Greg, Michael, Megan Rice have won their appeal. They've won their appeal two to one. They're going to have to release them immediately ASAP. I'm so excited. I cannot say how happy I am for Greg and Michael and Megan. It's very, very, oh, I'm so relieved. I'm so happy as we all sit in the courtroom and we watch this thing play out. You know, we all that were there, everybody that's involved, we all knew that the judge had it wrong. We all knew that the prosecutor had it wrong. There was no malicious intent. There was no terrorist intent. They were just trying to save the world, trying to call attention to this military nuclear crazy train gone off the rails, gone amok. The lack of protection, supposedly paying, the looting of the American treasury by private security, by the entire insane cash cow complex. They were just simply peace activists. I think it's so important. I think it's so irony that it does happen today, day. 70 years ago today, you know, Megan was a little girl. An amazing woman that she is. In the streets of New York City, celebrating, you know, winning the war before the bombs were dropped, by the way. The happy time in America, the happy time in Europe, the, def the surrender. You know, they broke in irony on July 28th, and I don't even like calling it broke in. They did their awareness on July 28th at Y12. It's like I said, we said in the trial, whatever, we knew we had wrong. There was no malicious intent. And I would like to say this. I think this is, as an artist, as a writer as a human being, as a person. I know Megan Rice. I you know, met her in the Nevada test site. I knew Madeline very well, her mother, that wonderful, amazing woman that she was, Dr. Rice. What a thumbprint commentary this has been, the way sister, our sister Megan Rice, that beautiful, brilliant nun, the way she's been treated, I think is the greatest thumbprint of a culture and a people that could ever be thrown down. It's an incredible indictment on us as a people. The media, the lack thereof coverage, the way that she's been treated by her own people in New York City. Now I'll quote Megan's niece in the Knoxville airport. Kevin, where are they? You know, I'm like, I know, it's, it's heartbreaking. You know, the Pope, he'll get involved when pigs fly. I started a petition, had over a million signatures to the Pope. Very, very exciting. I'm so happy for Greg and Michael. They're wonderful men. They're amazing, brave men. Amazing. They're patriots. They're incredible patriots, unlike, you know, the unpatriots. You know, we wrap up in sports teams and these Uncle Tom and worship cheaters and call themselves patriots, the unpatriots. You know, with your hair plugs. I mean, these, these are authentic people. You know, God fearing, God loving, humanity loving, great, the greatest humanitarians in the world, Greg Michael and her. I'm so so excited. I can't tell you. I mean, it brought tears to my eyes when I just read it. The way that Megan, I want people to much understand she was put in a holding facility, would not be let out on bail in Georgia, set up to hold people for a matter of weeks. They held her for many, many, many months, more than a year. She near died in there, by the way, 55 degrees. Her statement on the stand, I was in the courtroom, listen to her. You know, and she went off, thank you, so when I get out, I can protest something else. The horrible abuses that go on in the industrialized prison complex. Megan Rice is a wonderful person. This is a wonderful day. Wonderful day. You know, life is stranger in fiction, and the light, you know, I'm sure what Megan would say, well, I should not know what Megan would say, but I would think, and Greg and Michael, that, you know, the angels, they watch over her. They watched over all of them. You know, the date that this happened, I think, is such an incredible metaphor. So important. So historical in American culture. Maybe this is the pivot that we're looking for. Thank you for your sacrifice, Greg, Michael, Megan. We love you. Thank you to the incredible, incredible legal team. They were wonderful in that courtroom. I. You know, I was at the spiritual potluck, the most spiritual potluck in human history. It was powerful. 
thank you to Plowshares. You're wonderful people. I love you. I can't say how much I love you and how much you all mean to me. You're such an inspiration to me in my life. You know, the death of my father, death of Monica, you know, the death of so many. Wow. Very exciting. Thank you, Greg, Michael, and Megan. Thank you, the Plowshares group. Thank you, the attorneys. Thank you for all the support and hard work that everybody put into this. We love you. We love you, Greg. We love you, Michael. We love you, Megan. You're amazing, wonderful people. You know, doing, doing the work. Doing the good work. Stand tuned. Very exciting.